Why do you, why you so, feel like black people more so identify with your with, with your ideas and your creations as far as the style? And is it seeing, uh, does it take a European's view of the culture to really be able to create something new? It's kind of, I, I wonder if I think it's a that, little bit much, much more organic than that. It's, it's, not, it's not a calculated process. It's not a calculated process. It's just, it's me. It's me. I mean, I, again, I mean, again, not not an ego thing. It's just the way I vibe, the way I feel, the way I'm, I'm comfortable with. Obviously, I mean, there is with, with, with the black culture. Uh, there is that 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 lack of inhibition. I mean, you, you wear something, you feel good. You wear it. You, you can be flashy because you're very comfortable in your skin, and that's the way it is. You know, I mean, and myself I've always been like very flashy. I mean, I look at me, I mean, I'm 67 years old and I'm wearing like all crazy. I mean, and I, I toned down today because I'm going out to dinner, so I'm going to wear black, but I had a big bright Python red jacket this morning. Um, so, and, and I felt like really for me, it was a, an audience that really related to me and, but really not calculated. It's not like here, I'm going to design something because I want black people to buy for me, or I want to design something because I want Latin people. It, it is what I, I designed something. I only design for me first. If I, I love something that I vibe with, and then I put it out, and uh, and it, it organically it built like that. And obviously, uh, you know, as I made the jackets and I started making them, people want to buy it. I said, I don't know how to make those jackets, so I started raising prices because I didn't know how to produce it. Mm. And uh, some stores said, we don't care. We just we're not going to sell those jackets because they're too expensive. However, we're going to put them in a window. They're going to be such. Uh, conversation piece that people are going to walk in the store and buy other things. Lo and behold, people start buying those jackets, you know? Mm. And people said, like, if we don't sell it, I'm still going to wear it, the owners, because they still loved it. And they start, we start selling it. So one thing led to the other. And so one thing, so we, I get to make Michael Jackson, to make some jackets for him, we make jackets for Madonna. I mean, we're talking about like, 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 like me, the, to late 80s. Did you ever get to meet Michael Jackson? Oh, many times, yeah. Many wow. times. yeah and pull well, up you know. on him and give him a jacket. Like yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. And, Just and, like and, you. And, um, even better than that, you know, I, I had made enough money that I bought a house in Beverly Hills, um, on the hills, and uh, and uh, just didn't want to didn't want to live because it was too expensive for me to live in the house yet. So I rented it to uh, Jermaine Jackson. So I, I rented Jermaine. Jermaine became friends. I became friends with Jermaine. I became friends with Jackie. And then I, every time there was a family function, I was invited with them. So I, so I got to meet him. Uh, uh, but uh, I met, met Madonna, same thing. And then I got George Michael to, 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 to start wearing my jackets. Now suddenly everybody's going crazy. I mean, I get to, from that get, gets to Andrew Dice Clay. Uh, we get uh, even before I even start really getting heavy into the the the, the, the jackets more uh, as a production stuff. I mean, like you know, one of the basketball players, Reggie Theus, you know, just uh, you know knew his, his his girlfriend, and he said, you know, he wants me to you to make him. A, he was moving from Kansas City Royals to Sacramento Kings at the time when they moved the team, so he wants to make you a, an NBA jacket. So the NBA car players came to me then. He introduced me to Magic, and I became friends with him. I'm talking about 1986 now. And Magic introduced me to Michael. And so I started making jackets to Michael in 1986. And, uh, and, and then at that point, 1988, 89, uh, I had a friend of mine, and I was wearing, making, wearing all those crazy jackets. He said, how, how crazy would it be if you could make a, could you make me a Giants, New York Giants jacket? Because I'm friends with the owner, like uh, Steve Tisch from 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 the Giants, I want to give it to him as a present. Hold on. So why are we? Why are you? Let's go back to these stories. So <laughs> <laughs> you making jackets from Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan? Like where are these are these initial conversations taking place? Are you because they was partying heavy and crazy? Like were you at those parties or in no. in those houses or anything like no, that? I, 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 no, I I was not in the, the, in those bits uh, in those pool parties and stuff like that. No, I, I, I ultimately I end up going to a lot of parties, but like more toned down parties with Arsenio and and stuff like that. So I you know I was very I used to be very close with Arsenio also, and later on like in the, in the nineties you know. 
like the jackets the jackets got you that initial conversations to be like and build those relationships I mean, you know I mean, what i'm saying like, jackets have opened the door to me to everywhere I mean, I'm talking to the White House, to uh, uh, Nelson Mandela, to, to I've met all those people just because of jackets, uh, you know, big and smalls, <laughs> everybody. So, but, but you were just focused on business. You didn't get lost in the sauce of the drugs and the women and everything like that. I'm not gonna say. Uh, <laughs> no, at, at, that, at that point, I mean, at that point, I I I, I, I met somebody and uh, broke up with my first wife and. And uh, just you know, and I, that, and, and I was with this girl, and uh, and I've been with this girl for 38 years. So. Oh wow! All right, people, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. You know, we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers. So that little red button, tap it, tap in. Appreciate y'all.